The following is a Java web server. The server is going over port 9000. First, we establish a welcome socket to listen for incoming connections. Inside the while loop, we infinitely wait for a TCP connection. After receiving the TCP connection, we then go on to create a thread and process the request. While processing the request, we get reference to the sockets input and output stream. Then the buffered reader reads the input stream and we read the request path. After receiving the request, we check if the file exists in the current directory. If so, then the system will send out a HTTP code 200 OK. If not, the system will send out a 404 error not found. Down below is some code that simply identifies what type of file the content is. And below that is the buffer code to hold the data from the input stream and then send it out. So, let's test out the server. The server is now running. Go into Google. Paste in our IP address and the port number, 9000, and the file that we are requesting, which is my HTML. Success. We have found the file HTT responded HTT uh, code 200 OK and we have found my HTML file that says you have arrived at Casey's website thank you for visiting it is right here in notepad in the source code and on my desktop and if we search for a file that is not in our directory such as mom.html there we get the 404 error the file is not found so if we go back into Eclipse you can see the request and the response we requested my HTML, then it over port 9000, it gives some information about my browser, and we received it. And we requested mom.html, which we did not receive, and we received a 404 error. So we're going to stop the server. And now, if we try to connect, there should be nothing there. And there's nothing there. And that's all for the Java web server.